What's going on everybody? My name is Wolf21 and I'm going to show you how to install the Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft beta version 1.5-01. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to back up the Minecraft folder so that you do not lose your saves, texture packs, or screenshots. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on start or the Windows globe in the bottom left corner, go to run or start search. You're going to type in percent app data percent and either hit enter or OK. It's going to open up the application data folder or your roaming folder in application data and you're going to see a dot minecraft folder. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on that dot minecraft folder and everything within there you're going to highlight and you're going to right click and copy or control C to copy. And then what you want to do is you want to find an, a nice clean space so you can put a folder and call it MC backup or whatever name that you wish that you're going to remember where it is. You're going to go into that folder and you're going to go either hit control V or right click and paste. And it's going to back up all the data that's in that's in your Minecraft folder. Once that's complete, what you can do is you can always re go back to your saves or texture packs or screenshots if you do if you if you've taken screenshots and you can close out of that, that window. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your application data roaming and then your .minecraft folder and what you do is you're going to delete everything within that folder only after you've backed up your data. Just hit delete. Yes. You're going to make sure that it's empty. Now what we're going to do is we're going to relaunch Minecraft. Relaunching Minecraft is going to re-download all the files off the interwebs. So you have a clean version of Minecraft to run. You downloading packages. Once it's complete, it will go into Minecraft. And once it's done, we're going to immediately close out of it. And then you'll see all the new downloaded files and folders within the .minecraft folder. Now, what you're going to do is if you have WinRAR on your system, that's good. Um, if not, then you can you can do it to 7-zip.org use 7-zip. It's a free file manager to open up um, jar files and RAR files and zip files and everything like that. So these links will be in, in the description. So you're going to download and install 7-zip if, if you don't have WinRAR. You're also going to have a link to Mo Creatures uh, version 2.9 with Piranhas. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down on that page. You're going to download the Mo Creatures mod. You're going to also download the GUI API mod loader and audio mod. So that's four files in total that you're going to download. So this is going to be a manual install. For some reason I like manual installs. So after you visited all these pages, you're going to download the GUI API, the mod loader, audio mod, and Mo Creature and Mo Creatures mod. I'm going to close that window. I have the four files right here. There's my backup. The four files are right here. What we're going to do is with the .minecraft folder open, you're gonna go into the bin folder. You're gonna find the minecraft.jar. You're going to right click on it, choose 7-zip and open archive. Within this archive, you're going to delete the meta-inf folder. Highlight it, hit delete. Okay, it'll be gone. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this window open because now we're gonna start dumping some files into the minecraft.jar file. And then your downloaded files, you're going to go to your mod loader dot zip. You're going to right click it, choose seven zip, open archive. You're going to highlight all the files within that zip file. You're going to click and drag them over to the bottom part of where the class files are. So you do, you do not want to dump them into anywhere in the folders above it. So you're going to drop it below. You're going to say yes. Then you can close the mod loader zip. Next one you're going to go into is the audio mod. You're going to right click the file, 7-zip, open archive. Same thing, highlight the files and folders within that zip. Click and drag them over to the classes where the files are. Drop them off. Hit yes. Once it's done, you can close the audio mod zip. And now we're going to do the same with the GUI API. Click on it, right click, 7-zip, open archive. 
The same thing with everything in here. You're going to control A, you can quickly highlight all the files and folders, click and drag them over to the classes on the right hand side, the minecraft.jar, drop them off. It's going to copy. You're going to get a message. You're going to say confirm, yes. Once that's done, you're going to close out of the GUI API zip. And now, just to test it, we should be able to run Minecraft and log in. Minecraft should run with no issues. Also, if you go into options, you should have global mod settings. That means that uh, mod, mo, 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 the mod loader was successful in installing. If that's good, then we can close out of Minecraft. That version is working successfully. Now what we can do is you can go to the um, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod, and you're going to right click on that file, choose 7-zip, open archive. Now within here is, you're going to have two folders, Minecraft and resources. You're going to double click on the Minecraft folder, and you're going to see a mob folder with a bunch of class files. You're going to hit control A to highlight all the files and folders within that RAR. You're going to click and drag the same way as all the other files down to the way the classes are in the minecraft.jar. Drop them off. You're going to confirm the copy. Now what we can do is we can close out of the minecraft.jar archive. Also, on, on the left-hand side, you're going to do is you're going to hit the up folder to get to the resources folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy this actually you're going to go on the right hand side because you should still be in your bin folder what you're going to do is you're going to go up and you're going to get to your resources folder within the dot minecraft folder so you're going to go to resources you're going to click and drag mod over to the right and it says it already contains the folder you're going to say yes to all overwrites it then that should be the full install of mo creatures what we're going to do now is we're going to run minecraft we're going to log in. If everything's successful, we should, we should really create a test world. Mo creatures, create. Again, with the fresh install, your settings might have changed, your key mapping for your keyboard, your um, video settings, your audio settings. So you might have to change that really quick so everything's not super loud. We're going to change it. Music off, sound lower. <clears throat> Done. Back. Quickly take the achievements off. Now we see a. Looks like sharks on that side. So it looks like the mod was successful in installing. We'll just walk around, <coughs> walk around a little bit just to make sure that everything is good and installed. I usually run. Perhaps when recording Minecraft, I don't run Camtasia. There's a pig and there's a bunny. So technically, we can walk by the bunny just to make sure that they did get... Oh, there's lines over there, too. There's bunnies. Should have run over to it. There's a blackbird. Oh, very cool. Okay. So the mod was successful in installing. I got Put a bun bunny on your head. So the mod was successful in installing. So what we do is you can close out of... Minecraft, save and quit. And what you could do is you can actually go into your backup. You can go into your saves. And what you could do is you can copy your folders, which are your worlds, into the .minecraft folder, go into your saves, and recopy them over here so you can use the mo creatures in any of your other worlds that you have. I hope this helped you out in installing mo creatures. If this has, please leave a like on the bottom left corner. Just click it once. That'd be awesome. You guys are awesome. Can't say it enough. Thank you for watching. Happy modding. Again, if you have any, if you get any black screens, make sure you you re go through. Make sure you've you you've saved your backups and reuse them in case you do happen to run into any issues. If you have your backup, just delete everything within that .minecraft folder. Re rerun Minecraft again, start with a fresh version of Minecraft and go through all the steps again because it's easy to dump the files into a wrong folder and that can cause those black screens. All right, everyone take it easy and I'll talk to you later.